this time here the same as this time here? No. No, um, and in fact, there's different dimensions where time actually change. Uh, things about time change, and we'll talk about that too. Do the two soulmates have to like get together like romantically, or are they going to be married to different people? Like, just still eventually, they will desire to fit together romantically. So I've 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 been single for four and a half years, waiting for my soulmate to appear, and she appeared a few weeks ago. And Does she know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to me. <laughs> Alright, let's say uh, let's see what happens about this. As you said we can talk about that subject for a while, but not in yourself. Uh, <laughs> you've obviously just fallen in love like the rest of us can do and have done a couple of times. And you think it's your soulmate, you know, for the first... <laughs> no, I, I haven't just fallen in love. I've been in love 2,000 years. <laughs> I just recognised it. I see who, I saw who she was in this incarnation. Is that the same person as, like, in your first incarnation, then? Mm. Yeah, not the same physical person. But it's the same... It's the same soul. The same. Yeah. It always has to be. Sorry? It always would have to be. Yes. It always will have to be, yes. Yeah. But she's not aware of who she is. She's not aware of who she is at the soul level. She she feels an attraction for me, but she is a bit confused about it. So. Does she know who you are? Well, she knows who I claim to be. Shall we put it that way? <laughs> what would you think if somebody came along and said, <laughs> "Honestly, he would say, honestly, it's not going to be like that." Did you think I was going to say Mary or Fanti? No, no. Well, I don't want to scare her to death. Before. But you can see the obvious problems, you know, like I'm saying I'm Jesus and, you know, naturally she's got some issues with that. <laughs> but, so she doesn't have any memories? You only have memories when you allow yourself to feel your emotional state. You think about all of your memories. When you want to bottle up a memory, you bottle up the emotion, and so you forget the memory. You, how many of you have had a, had a memory where there was something that happened when you were a child, and you've gone through an emotional experience as an adult, and remembered it for the first time for, for years and years and years? Most of you, I would have thought. And, and the reason why that is, is your, your memories are totally dependent upon you being open to emotionally experience each memory. Now, if a person is not willing to emotionally experience a memory, then they will not have the memory. And that applies for the rest of your existence. You will only remember when you are prepared to emotionally remember everything. So in the first, second, third, fourth spheres, it's the same there too? It's exactly the same in every sphere of existence. Even if it's subconscious. There's no well, subconscious. Okay, no, even soul, that even on a soul level, that you've made the decision to experience something even though you don't know. Like something happens in life, and for Kel's you to experience that emotion, and you don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 The unresolved and, resol and resolved emotions too that are occurring within your soul right in your current moment. So right at this particular moment, right now, all of you have attracted being here. Not, it's not just Peter who organised this. All of you attracted being here. There was something inside of your soul that caused you to desire to be here. You attracted that. What happened when you remembered your crucifixion? Well, um, it was a very emotional process for me, and it took it took nearly uh, three months for me to process every single day. Was it agony? Um, yeah, I went through all the physical pains as well as all of the emotional pains that I experienced at the time. Yes. In this lifetime, how long have you been known? Being 
And when were you first born here? My memories began when I was two, in this lifetime. Uh, but I was not prepared to accept them until I was 33. Funny, how is it? <laughs> and I'm now 44, so I've been processing them for 11 years. In your growing up at the time, did you have memories that you lost in your growing up? Yes. And how did you resolve those? I didn't when I was growing up, but I, after 33 I began to resolve them by experiencing every one of them. So I've had to experience my life. The process of remembering anything is about experiencing it all emotionally, and I've got 2,000 years of that to do. Does that make sense? It's amazing you've got time to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you is helping me process some of my emotions. Like you say, you started at two, so did your parents pick up things that you would say or do? It began, I, had a, I, I trod on a nail when I was two, mm -hmm. and it went straight through my book, and lots of emotions started coming up then, and confusion, and I had lots of fears as a result, I had part of my bowel removed because I was so afraid, and, and it just went on and on and on as I was going through different emotional things from that moment on. So it's a process of remembering everything emotionally. And of course at that age I had no idea what I was dealing with and of course didn't want to either. I made a conscious decision when I was 12 to never ever ever deal with an emotion. And it took me till 33 to break through that resolve. But I had memories all the way through that. <laughs>